were about to talk about Jaden Daniels oh. because he was the last true freshman right. quarterback to start for Arizona State. Those mm-hmm. are the only two uh, in program history. Um, and looking at Jaden's numbers in 2019 was when he was a freshman at ASU. He completed 60.7% of his passes, threw for 2,900 yards, 8.7 yards per pass, 17 passing touchdowns, three rushing touchdowns, and two interceptions. Mm-hmm. Um, a pretty phenomenal season, I would say, for a true freshman quarterback. Oh, he was awesome at a Power Five level. I mean, in the, in the first in the first six games of the season, they were they were five and one. Yeah, which is what we were predicting on the show the other day. Um, and their only loss was to Colorado, which is so funny. Uh, but I want to talk about his first game specifically because, again, let's not like let's 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 just talk about this first game. Yeah. But yes, that that is very exciting. Uh, his first game. He went 15 of 24. This was against Kent State. So another kind of tune-up game. They won 30 to 7. He went 15 of 24 with two touchdowns um, with a long of 77 yards. Threw a bomb in that game. No turnovers. No or at turnovers. least no picks. Uh, zero, zero interceptions. I don't, think I, mean, he, I don't think he fumbled. Okay. So my question, and, and I bring up all of this, right? Yeah, no. You bring up those numbers, and I bring up his numbers for the season, is do you think in year one – if Jaden was able to play the entire season, that he is able to outperform what Jaden Daniels did in that 2019 season. Again, the the yeah the I'm, 17 to two is is a pretty ridiculous touchdown interception ratio. They were, they're different quarterbacks though. Jaden ran the ball a ton. Yeah, I mean he averaged he averaged like 10 carries a game that year. Yeah, uh, and I don't expect Rashada to do the same. Um, but they also just ran the ball a lot. That team had, I mean, this team has had good running backs for a while. Yeah. And I think this team will run the ball a lot, but it's, it's, it's not like a, Kenny's run schemes are not, they're not going to ram the ball down your throat. They're, they're, they're going to do it with finesse. They're going to do it with RPOs. They're going to, to, to put a lot of play action in there and they're going to make the defense commit to, to, to a run. They're not going to just pound and pound and pound. Um, so no, that I think, doesn't feed the style. No, really. I think this defense or this offense is going to be a lot different than what the offense looked like in 2019. Uh, so I think he 100 percent can can outperform that because I think he'll have more opportunity to throw the ball. Jane Daniels only threw the ball 300 times. Yeah, like that's not a, that's not a lot for an, for an entire year. I think another interesting point to to watch specifically when you get to game one. Again, I don't know how much Jaden is going to be playing that first game if this is a team that's up 40. Um, I imagine he would play the entire game if they're playing well and you're trying to give your starting quarterback as much experience as possible. Um, but I am interested to see how the style of play of Kenny Dillingham and Bo Baldwin's offense impacts Jaden Rashada because this is an offense that, yes, that they, they are going to try and fool you, but they are also going to exhaust you from start to finish. Their goal is to outwork you and outhustle you not only physically, but mentally. Now, you throw in a freshman quarterback in that mix. How often is that quarterback, even though he's a part of the offense, how often is he physically and mentally exhausted uh, early on, right? Like, I, I don't know. I think that is going to be an interesting thing to, to watch, to see the mental errors as the game goes on. Um, but clearly, again, with Kenny naming Jaden the, the starting quarterback for week one, he has faith in his guy. And he believes that Jaden is the right decision to help this team win now. And I know you disagree that Trenton Morgay is the best football player or the best quarterback right now for this team. But I don't think if you asked Kenny Dillingham straight up, hey, which quarterback is better? I don't think he tells you that he's starting Jaden Rashada for the future. Because he, and I don't think, I'm going to be real, I don't think he makes that decision. For the future. I understand it, but knowing and listening to the way Kenny acts and speaks, he wants to win as many games as possible right now. And I think he believes Jaden Rashada is going to do that. 